A couple of years ago, Academy Award winning actress and comedian Monique issued what she described as a public service announcement expressing how distasteful it was to see, in particular, black women in the airport wearing bonnets. Just to refresh your memory, let's roll that footage back. So, yesterday, I was in the airport in Atlanta, and as we began to walk through the airport, I saw so many, actually too many to count, and too many for me to tap. But I saw so many of our young sisters in head bonnets, scarves, slippers, pajamas, blankets wrapped around them. And this is how they're showing up to the airport. And it, I've been seeing it, not just at the airport, I've been seeing it at the store, at the mall. I've been seeing sisters showing up with these bonnets and head scarves and their slippers. And the question that I'm having to you, my sweet babies, when did we lose pride in representing ourselves? And I'm not saying no full face of makeup. I'm not saying no full front lace frontal. I'm not saying none of that. All I'm saying is, could you please comb your hair? And if you don't want to comb your hair, they got enough shit out here now, baby, where you can style yourself up and look like you have pride. Now, some sisters totally agreed with Monique and some sisters did not agree. Either opinion is a reflection of what you as a woman or a man, because men had their opinions on this issue too, it is a reflection of what you feel is an appropriate attire and dress for the airport. If you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now in this moment, click the subscribe button so you can stay in the loop on all things related to travel. We call this segment, I'm Fly. Cause I'm fly. Yeah, super fly. Make no oh, 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 I'm fly. When you travel, it's important to remember that regardless of the season, the airport can be cold, as well as the plane. And regardless of where you are traveling to, it's important that you are comfortable. And for those of you who love fashion, it's a great opportunity to be stylish and experiment with different looks. We are going to kick this series off with none other than style icon, the Fenty Beauty herself, Rihanna. Over her career, Rihanna has released eight studio albums, which began in 2005, and her last album having been released in 2016. Oftentimes, her fashion and style has reflected the energy and mood of her albums with her setting trends and being elevated to icon status, not only in music, but also in fashion. As a mega music superstar and a beauty and fashion billionaire entrepreneur who boards private jets all over the world, it's worth taking a closer look at Rihanna's airport runway style. Rihanna is amazing because she's like a chameleon. She changes her look and style quite often and so many different looks work for her. She's done long hair, short hair, black hair, red hair, curly hair, straight hair, bob cuts, and the list goes on. She can do no wrong in my opinion when it comes to fashion. However, even though she changed her look over the years, her airport runway style is chic, comfortable and pretty consistent. What you will notice about Rihanna's travel style is that she does lots of sweatsuits paired with heels. This is a great option because instead of looking for a shirt and bottom separately or looking for a dress to slip into, you can save time and money if you were to buy a top and bottom set. Also, going for a looser fit in your clothing can also be beneficial due to the duration of your travel time. Now I must admit I'm not a huge fan of wearing heels in the airport because there can be a lot of walking and distances between the terminals. However, I do encourage you to give this airport fashion style a try and let us know what you think. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button 
And until next time, ladies and gentlemen.